Where'd it go? All right, so we are on Facebook Live, everybody. Um, you will notice we are not in the Talk 107.3 studios today. That is because Franzi, Franzi is in quarantine. Um, I am perfectly fine. I am perfectly fine. Um, but we wanted to make sure that we had an episode today. So uh, we're going to be starting in about five minutes. Uh, I am with Emily from New Schools for Baton Rouge. Angela just joined from yeah. uh, Hogs for the Cause and um, Gulf Coast hey. Title. Hey, ladies. Hey, ladies. Um, so we are just, we're on Facebook Live now, guys. Uh, we're just telling everybody why we're, we're doing it this crazy way. Um, you'll notice if you're watching us, and it should be like four panels, right? It should be four panels. Yes. Um, Talk 107.3 is a panel. The reason they're at the bottom, by the way, looking magnificent, ladies, all three of you looking magnificent. So Talk 107.3 is at the bottom of my panel, at least. The reason is, is they're recording what we're doing, and it, this will air on the radio um, on Saturday. So we are, we are in business, guys. So as soon as I get a text from Chuck, we will start the episode uh, if you're listening on Facebook Live, uh, we are going to have a two-minute intro. We're going to have the ladies from Hogs for the Cause. By the way, if y'all don't mind, Emily's just going to join us for the entire episode. Y'all can stick around afterwards. Um, we're going to talk about Christmas decorations. We're going to talk, I mean, we may need to talk about the hair. Because I'm that noticing some amazing. serious hair action going on right now. Don't give look, me that look. Like you, I can't like compete you, with this hair. Look, this hair is Angela's like, like, what? This just happened. Hair. This hair this just hair happened. Can we just talk about the like Peloton that's not used at my house, but like looks like, I mean, it's awesome, but can we just talk about how it's like, this is my Peloton in the same room as. I didn't, I didn't want to say anything about your Peloton, but. All of our. Oh, is, that, is that your, what kind of room is that in your house? Is that like your. It was a bar. That, like it's a full blown uh, like entertaining bar like that we, that was in the house when we bought it. And then it also became the Peloton. Um, Cause I was like. I won't go to a gym, but if I have a bite, like I will ride. Mm -hmm. Did that happen? Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, we, are, uh -huh. we are working on that <laughs> discipline. We have not had it in a year, but I fully support Peloton. Yeah. And I think for people with discipline, Peloton. it is a really awesome yeah. thing to have. Peloton, thank you for your sponsorship. Yeah, I appreciate right? you. <laughs> Feel free to sponsor Go Rouge and Haunts. <laughs> you guys, I got to tell you, Peloton brings my life joy right now brings really? me so much joy it does so I use it um but I will say I would recommend hiding the clip shoes if you're drinking right like that feels like a recipe for just bad outcomes yeah if you're drinking okay, a bourbon so and then decide to clip onto the peloton I'm not coordinated so oh no so see Emily maybe I just need to like get your sign in and then when you start riding I'll it'll like I'll feel bad and I'll be like all right I'm only trying I need to ride I need like all more. right so <laughs> Franz is like, I'm so done with you mm, already. I don't even know. Let one. me go grab my, let me go grab trying my, to live my best life is what I'm trying to do. Okay. How do you get so, so much volume in your hair? This is amazing. And I'm having remorse about putting my hair up. And at the same time, no, I'm, it's God. How do, you get so, how do I get so much volume in my hair? We were going <laughs> to What I say though, is like, if it's raining outside though, like I look like Mufasa, like this hair only works. You got that big Italian hair, hair, man. Yeah, you like right now Italian you're hair. it prime, yeah. like no humidity, perfect weather. It looks. And you see, last how week flat was a different story. This is. I actually teased this for a solid four or five minutes. Oh, this it's is not this flat. Is it's work. silky and luxurious. It is Stop right. It. It's all about the adjectives because uh, it's still gorgeous. I need more dudes on my shows. <laughs> I need some more dudes on my shows, man. You know, oh, your beard goodness. action though is stellar, sir. I mean, yeah. like that is. is that I'm not new? happy about it. I'm not happy about it. Franz, is um, that um, is that the November? Or what is it? New shave November. This yeah. is I. So I had lost weight. So when I lose weight, I shave because I got a 
stronger jawline and I look younger when I shave. And this is the, I haven't worn pants pants in a while, seven days to be exact. Um, I had a federal hearing yesterday where I had a suit jacket on. I hesitate to say this on Facebook Live. Suit jacket on, shirt and tie on, and sweatpants. Love it. It was, oh, it was awesome. All right, What's your bullet so, outfit? True that. So I'm trying to load up Facebook Live on another device so I can see comments. Uh, Brittany is watching. She says we can't see 107.3. The reason you can't see 107.3 is they're just recording. Um, I don't know that they're going to be a part of the show. Ladies, if you don't mind sharing this Facebook Live and tagging Go Rouge and maybe New Schools for Baton Rouge and Gulf Coast title, I would appreciate it. Um, Laura, shout out to Laura Sue. She brought me she brought me some ramen yesterday. Just throwing this out there. Just throwing this out there. I'm on a, I, I just finished the 72 hour fast. I'm all about being healthy, right? And I'm doing soups right now. Low carb, low sugar soups. Vegetable ramen. Baru. Do we share this now? Yeah. I'm, I'm yes. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But if you, line. but here's yeah. the trick. Here's the trick. If you share it on the device or if you play it on the device you're using, you're going to have double volume. You're going to hear yourself. All right. I'm waiting for Chuck to start this thing. Two minute intro. Then I'm going to introduce everybody. And then we're going to start with hogs for the cause. 20 minutes of hugs for the cause and other shenanigans. <laughs> Anything y'all want to talk about is fine. Um, and if you're on Facebook Live and there's stuff you want us to talk about, whether it's their beautiful hair, whether it's great grooming techniques for goatees. All right. I think I've shared it, but. Angela, I, I need you to rename, rename your name to where it's both your names. Please. That was a please. There was meant to be a please there. So I hear Angela. To, so, so Emily, do you bake at all? I do sometimes. I don't have a lot of sugar in the house, though. So Angela, allegedly, I have never tasted her goodness. That sounded horrible. Wow. I've never tasted Angela's goodness. Angela apparently makes cookies, Italian cookies. Angela bakes. I worked at a bakery before I went to law school. I went to a bakery, so I did like macaroons are my thing, but I can do cookies. I can do wedding cakes with the like in the perfect kitchen with all the right material, I can do it. But like on the fly, I would not be able to be like, oh sure, one sec, like, well, let me whip that up. But cookies, macaroons, way. small cakes, cupcakes, I can do. That's amazing. All right, we're gonna count this down. Chuck P says we're ready. Okay. So we're gonna go record in five, four, three, two, and a slow one. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to episode 53 of the Go Roos Show. This is your host, Franz Borkart, live from the Franz Bat Cave, if you will. Um, you'll notice if you're watching on Facebook Live, welcome for joining in, by the way, or tuning in. You'll notice if you're watching on Facebook Live right now that we are not in the Talk 107.3 studio. The reason we're not in the Talk 107.3 studio is that I am in quarantine. Uh, I have seven more days of quarantine, but and even though I've already had and survived COVID, uh, I'm a responsible human being, and I don't want any of my wonderful guests or anyone around me to catch this thing, and I hope I don't have it again. Um, so we are doing a remote Zoom episode today. Um, before we jump into the show, I want to thank our show sponsors. we got a lot of fun going on today. Uh, we've got some hogs for the cause ladies in the house. We've got new schools for Baton Rouge. We're going to talk about Christmas. I mean, are we listening to Christmas songs yet? I feel like yeah. we're listening to Christmas songs now. It's okay to listen to Christmas songs yet. Christmas. Play on. So, so before we start, let me thank our sponsors. We have NAI Ladder and Bloom Commercial Realtors. Um, they are also sponsoring a podcast that I host called The Real Disruptors. Uh, we are launching some new episodes of that uh look for us out and about uh one of my favorite new episodes that we're doing is about how to kill deals how to kill deals uh it was a lot of fun um we have the smith shanklin sosa mm -hmm. personal injury law firm we have breck parks 
We have Sullivan Steakhouse, your neighborhood steak restaurant. Shout out to Layton, the GM over there, as well as Kelly and the rest of the crew. Uh, Sullivan Steakhouse, excellent place to get food. I just went to one of their pairing dinners. Look, look at this. Oh my goodness. I've, I've got, you can't, if you're not on Zoom and you're not on Facebook Live right now, you can't see the, the booze goodness behind the Hogs for a Cause ladies. Stay tight, ladies. We're going to talk about that in a second. We also have Louisiana Tech Park. We have La Divina Italian Restaurant, open every day for, with your custom made from scratch breakfast. And last but not least, the Borkhart Law Firm, uh, your go-to criminal defense firm. That's my lemonade stand. Uh, as I've said before, I'll say it again, one of the finest criminal defense firms in the unit, in, in the universe, not just unit, universe. Um, so without further ado, do, we have in studio, we have the ladies from Hogs for the Cause. Angela, I'm gonna let you introduce yourselves. But before you do that, also, if you're watching on Zoom, and on Facebook Live, we also have Emily from New Schools from Baton Rouge. She's just going to kind of join the conversation until the second half of the show. So, Angela, the floor is yours. Awesome. Well, thanks for having us again. I'm Angela Gronyard. I am team captain of Colin Bacon Rouge with Hogs for a Cause. And this is Katie Bliss, who is actually the director of development, development with Hogs for the Cause. Mm -hmm. I should know that. I'm the worst. Okay. Um, and Franz is actually on my team, so um, who's already surpassed his limit he has been awesome our first team member that made his so, full goal oh wait slow down slow down not just passed his limit is on track to be the greatest fundraiser in the group all right he is Here although there's a, a couple lillian and alexis are really the low energy, energy. right, right, right there, there. Um, so what is so ladies what is hugs for the cause i know y'all have been on the show before but I, I i feel like it's always a good idea to tell everybody what you guys are doing Yes, so Hogs for the Cause is a um, pediatric brain cancer nonprofit. We are the um, leading provider for outreach services to families with children with um, brain cancer. Um, and what that means is that we um, give the families direct grants so that they can um, pay their bills and focus on what's most important, which is taking care of their, their children who are in need. Um, and what we're doing here in Baton Rouge specifically is that we've partnered up with our Lady of the Lake Children's Hospital to Great. build a Hogs family residence on their campus. So let's let's be clear, local, local yes. kids. Mm -hmm. and we're talking about kids with brain cancer. Kids Correct. with brain cancer. Yeah. Okay. And local right. like all Southeast Louisiana, like it's not just Baton Rouge. The, the facility is going to be in Baton Rouge, but obviously, I mean, Our Lady of Lake Children's Hospital is one of the best around. So a lot of the smaller parishes are even coming in. So it's Focused in Baton Rouge, but we're really serving, I mean, the Southeast so, Louisiana community. So let me just go on the record. Mm -hmm. If you're a donor or someone thinking about donating and you have a problem with local being defined that way, come talk to me because I'm going to talk to you about what it means to help kids with cancer and shame on you. I'm sorry. I had to get that out of my system. I, I can say that. You can't say that. I can I say like that. Local yeah. also means like local. If yeah. you're a child, this should be a local issue for you. Because mm -hmm. you never know where a child's going to end up, and they mm -hmm. might end up, you know, they could end up in Memphis, they could end up in Atlanta, but they could end up in Baton Rouge, and in which case, Hogs is really going to be there to help the family and the child. And something so, that I want to stress about the house, real quick, um, is that it is here to service every family. So if your child is getting treatment at Our Lady of the Lake Children's Hospital, you will be eligible to stay at this house for free. So it's not limited to children with pediatric brain cancer, although correct. we are a pediatric brain cancer nonprofit, this house will be open to anyone, anyone. and any, any family, family whose child is um, going to be receiving treatment there. And that I dig it. broadens the scope of why someone would want to support it and why someone should want to donate because this is improving our community. It's improving our hospital system and it's providing an For um, our future for just our a remarkable gift to families who are in need and facing some of their darkest days that they'll be able to focus, come and stay here for free, be on campus with their child, be right across the street from where their child's receiving treatment, be able to see the hospital, walk over there at any time and focus on their child and not worrying about the stress of the financial burden of staying at a hospital, I mean, at a hotel. And how are we or, gonna pay the bills and have to worry about or any Just transportation alone, like coming to- So, so the cause is fantastic speaks for itself let's get to the nitty-gritty ladies we are in the heat of a competition 
Yes. There are various Hogs for the Cause teams yes. competing, yes. competing. Mm -hmm. We, we. With one of the other more competitive people. So I, I'm a winner. Coffee's for closers. Wow. I'm a winner. I want to win. If we're competing, it's not about, it's, yeah, it's about helping the kids, but it's about winning. So yeah. that being said, the Hogs. Winning for the kids. Winning for the kids, right? Not just winning in turn. Look, we've already discussed before on the radio that I have a huge ego, narcissism, whatever. So yeah, yeah anyways, but it, you love me anyways. So I love me too. So yes. let's talk. How many different teams are there competing right now? Right now we have 35 committee members. This being one amazing one, maybe our MVP right now. Um, <sighs> yeah, if I do say so myself. And we have an ama a lot, we have a a lot of amazing people on we our do. committee. Our committee and members so are amazing. They are. There's 35 of them, and each one is um, putting together teams as we speak to help fundraise for this cause. Um, and they're not necessarily competing against one another, but they are. You know, we're yeah, all competing against. We're competing for the cause. Yes. You know, like who can so. Be so I'm going to interrupt. Claire Elizabeth, who's watching on Facebook Live, asked, does Hogs for the Cause have any volunteer needs? That is a great question. Um, We're all volunteers, by the way. All the committee members are volunteers because, mm -hmm. I mean, your full-time job, obviously, is not just with Go Rouge, but with, you know, your law practice. I'm a closing attorney at Gulf Coast Title, who's amazing. Mm -hmm. um, so all of us the are premier, The premier title company in Baton Rouge, even though they don't show sponsor the show, premier title company. They, so Claire, Hogs is always looking for volunteers. We always have events coming on that we could utilize your resources for. Um, our Obviously our largest event is our festival, our annual festival that is a barbecue and music in New festival in New Orleans. It lasts two days. Um, we are hopeful that uh, the city of New Orleans allows us to have it this year. Um, we are looking into various dates so that we can make that happen. We are always looking for volunteers there, but not just then, like, you know, we have an upcoming bourbon raffle where we could always use help of volunteers. Yes. So if you want to contact me and we can I talk about it, anyone with any questions can always reach out to me at katie at hogsforthecause.org. That is my email. So feel free to reach out. I would love to speak to you about volunteer opportunities. So this is where it gets good, ladies. We're about to go into the goodie room. So behind these ladies, you can't see it if you're listening on Talk 107.3, but if you're on Facebook Live, behind these ladies, we have, we have a collection of some really good bottles of different alcohol, um, if that is your thing, if you drink, uh, bourbons. Um, and we are having a raffle to help raise money for Hogs for the Cause. And, and ladies, look, when I saw this list, um, mm -hmm. when I saw this list, it is like it is like a Santa Claus Christmas dream list of bourbons. Okay. So ladies, mm -hmm. you're doing a great job of modeling these bourbons right now. Can you tell us a little bit, for those listening, can you tell us a little bit about what you got behind you and how can you, how can you enter into the raffle? Okay, so like we said earlier, um, Team Colin Bacon Rouge, we're doing the bourbon raffle. So right now we have over 60 bottles. I don't even think you can see literally all of the amazing bottle. I mean, we have donations for days. Um, so some of our, like like we're calling them our headliners. We have the Pappy 23 that we just showed y'all. We have an Old Forester birthday bourbon. I'm not supposed to be announcing those yet, but... Hello. We got the George T. Stag. Not we have two Stag Juniors, but we actually got the George T. Stag as well as the um, William Larue Weller, which is amazing. Um, we have an old Rip. Yeah. Emily seems pleased. Emily, are you a are you a bourbon girl? I've just started this journey, yeah, and I really enjoy oh, it. Oh, welcome! We oh, are so it. we are so happy to have you. I right, please so be here. <laughs> this oh, is great. Happy. I see a Pappy. It, whoa, we were just showing you. So we've got two Pappy, we've got a Pappy 10, we've got two Pappy 12, one of which was donated by Go Rouge and the Bogart Law Firm, as well as Gulf Coast Title. So y'all are amazing. Thank you. Um, Rouse's is one of our co-sponsors. They have been amazing. So the raffle actually is going to end on December 16th. It's a Wednesday. The raffle will end at 6.55. The drawing will take place at 7 o'clock. Um, it is virtual as well as in person. So if you want to go buy tickets, go buy, you can get your tickets online. It's hogsforthecause.org backslash bourbon. 
and that will take you to raffle creator which is where the raffle is um there will be it's so 20 dollars a ticket or whoa whoa whoa, whoa, wait, 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 wait. wait 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 so i can get a chance to win some of those bottles of booze Yes. Which are valued at far over twenty dollars. Some of those oh. booze bottles are, I mean, the, the, are the like twenty three alone is a four thousand dollar bottle. I mean retail not retail, but you're not gonna find a retail, so let's be serious. Yeah. Yeah. But um so what it is also is it's not like, oh, one person takes all, which obviously if you were one person that would be awesome, but your odds are actually incredible. So we have about fifty no, we have one, over, yeah, we have, we have over, over 60 six. bottles, but mm-hmm. we have, and we have about 50 or 55 because I'm about prizes. to, we're about to add a couple more prizes. Um, and so for every prize listed, there is a winner. So some of them have like three bottles in them. Some have some tasting glasses. Some have, um, I mean, like we've got, glasses, yeah, like Bowie's. I don't know if can y'all see that. I mean, we've got a bunch of different sponsors that have given different stuff. Um, Atlas or Atlas Dermatology, um, top of their bottle, donated a five hundred dollar gift card for their relaxant Botox. I don't. We're not allowed to say Botox, but it's I don't know how else to explain what that is. Um, But yeah, so I mean, we've got some amazing stuff. It's twenty dollars a ticket or six tickets for a hundred dollars. And again, you can buy your last ticket at six fifty on December um, sixteenth. So. We would love, but for, tickets might sell out, so go get them now. Yes, there are a limited number. Um, we, we can only is, but just oh gosh, w, yeah. w, uh, w, w, hogs for the cause backslash bourbon. bourbon. Yes, could not be, could not be easier. And right. by the way, by the way, guys, that is a magnificent, magnificent collection of, of bottles. Can you ladies, I, I feel like it's only appropriate, besides, of course, the Burkhart Law Firm that donated some, can y'all talk a little bit about some of the various businesses and individuals that have helped donate? Um, I believe they get they, they deserve a shout out. They do. So uh, Rouse's. Uh, Rouse's has been amazing. Rouse's did donate the, 20, the Pappy 23, um, the Pappy 12, the Birthday Bourbon, and a Blanton's Gold. I also, before I forget, I just want to let y'all know that we are announcing every single week we'll be dropping a brand new headliner. So keep coming back. The bottles that you see are, we're, there are going to be more coming out. Um, but we're also local... going to be hosting the event at Rouse's on yes. the corner of um, Lee and Burbank. If you do want to come out in and person, it's outside, wear a mask, raffle, but mm-hmm. it is outside. So COVID friendly, there's going to be plenty of space. And I think some um, but our... beer tastings. And whatnot, yeah. So. And so you know how, you know how shameless I am, right? Yes. I think we need to incorporate a Go Rouge component in this. And I may I may have to come and, and do a little bit of live stream I'm just totally so people can get a little bit more love on that. And um, the drawing will actually be on Facebook Live. So um, it'll be on Facebook Live. So a lot of people with COVID do not feel like you have to come in. The, um, the raffle's open nationally. So we do have people that are in different states. So you do not have to be present to win. You will be notified by email. Katie and I will also be calling out each winner. Um, but again, like we've had some incredible local businesses, they're listed on our page, but they're also, I mean, the Louisiana bourbon collective yes. has been incredible. Those guys are amazing and girls, of course. Mm-hmm. Um, the, they have done They are responsible for getting us a lot, a lot, a lot, a mean, lot of these very valuable bottles. So we cannot show enough love to the Louisiana bourbon collective is a Facebook group. Yes. Um, Blake Aber and his crew are, are fantastic. Great. And we could not be more appreciative. Um, yes. Also, the Baton uh, Baton Rouge, Rouge, Bourbon, uh, Bourbon Society. Society with David Steele. They have been great. They've really helped to raise a lot of um, just kind of like hype around it and gave us some great bottles as well. Um, thank you. Yeah, so thank you. We also have, let's see, we had Cypress Title that helped out, Bowie Outfitters, Housewife Tesla with Wanderlust. Um, they have been great. They donated some stuff. We've got uh, Forrest. Uh, Cressy Ian James out of New Orleans. She went to law school with me. Eliza's amazing. So yeah. great other law firm, which does not do criminal defense. So if you don't know competition there. Um, Chris, ladies, there's never any competition. <laughs> of course. I mean, seriously, I'm not even listing half of our people. All of our donors have been incredible. They're listed on the raffle and they're listed on our social media. We cannot thank them enough. They are the whole reason that we have this amazing collection to even raffle off to y'all. Um, so please, if you um, hear this and you guys want to buy tickets, um, the support the call. Katie, love some bourbon. Yes, buy some tickets. Um, Angela, go buy some tickets. We really, really appreciate it. And we are, our goal is to hit fifty thousand. Help um, us. Help us at fifty thousand in ticket sales. We're at goodness thirty eight. I think right before we went live. Um, That's a lot of money. That's a lot of money. 
my it mind. is. Um, and my team is still raising because I have a really great group of competitive people. And so even though we hit a mark, I mean, we're still, again, we're, we're striving for 50. So if y'all can help us get there, that would be awesome. You know, what's really so cool about that, Angela, is that what a great time for people who want to buy Christmas presents that support local businesses and local yeah. causes. Like this is a perfect opportunity. I'm thinking about friends and relatives, not just in Louisiana, but in Missouri, who I have a couple girlfriends who love bourbon. And this is such a cool opportunity. Instead of spending money on something crazy, let's do something that actually contributes to the community. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And there's so, like and I if said, she gets the pack of 23. Then you get the finder's fee, which is per sip. And every time it's opened, it has to be you. Uh, anyway. And and I, I want you to, and I don't think we've done a good job explaining, now bourbon drinkers will know this, some of those bottles, it's like finding a four-leaf clover oh. in a sea of green. Yes, they're referred I mean, to it's, bourbon yeah. well, as unicorns. So and like this, yes. is a unicorn. this is a unicorn. You've heard of Old Forester, you've never but seen you've likely that. never seen in person yeah. or held the birthday bourbon. So, I mean, Ralph this is, is the closest I've ever seen it. Yeah. So... Just so like, while yes. do not drop these, I will hold them for you. Like transporting them, I think made him Super more nervous. Rare. Very exciting. Um, the Pappy, oh gosh. William Larue, Weller. I mean, uh, I mean, seriously, the George T. Stag. I had never even seen in person. Um, I'd seen a Stag Junior, but when she told us we got this one, I was like, so, "This is incredible. so." I'm gonna I'm gonna echo something that Emily said. Even if you're even if you're like me, and you don't drink, you can. Think of that special someone that you care about or you know is a bourbon collector and buy a couple of raffle tickets. And guess what? If you win, that's an amazing Christmas or birthday present. Um, I will tell you, ladies, uh, I'm going to echo the question again that we got asked earlier. If somebody is listening to this and if you're listening on Facebook Live, feel free to to shoot questions. We've got a little bit of time. We've got two minutes left. If somebody wants to get involved with Hogs for the Cause, whether it's volunteering, team, being on a team, whatever, what do they need to do? Um, they can email me at katie at hogsforthecause.org. I'd be happy to talk to them about however you know, deep they want to get involved. We are always looking for more committee members um, such as Angela and just volunteers and people who want to support or just donate in any way. Um, I also want to stress that if you, you know, purchase some tickets and you don't win, just know that 100% of the proceeds yes, from this raffle everything. do go to Hogs for the Cause. And not only are we building this Hogs Family Residence on Our Lady of the Lake Children's Hospital, but we've given over $50,000 alone just in direct grants just this year to families in Baton Rouge fighting pediatric brain cancer. And that's astronomical. And clearly we need every dollar um, that is coming in to go to these families and support this cause. So Thank and you for that. Also, just remember I know we have a minute left. Um, Cadillac Cafe is hosting an event for us um, for the LSU Florida game on uh, December 12th, uh, an hour before kickoff to an hour after. And 10% of all the proceeds of sales and alcohol is going to go to Hog. So if nothing else, if you like a burger and you like LSU, come out, please, to Cadillac Cafe. It is Saturday, 12-12 uh, for the Florida game. We really so it. we're about to take our first break. You've been listening to the Go Roos show. We've got... The ladies from Hogs for the Cause on. Um, definitely stick around after the break. We will be continuing to chat about great stuff in Baton Rouge. We've got Emily from New Schools for Baton Rouge. If you want to get more information about the Go Rouge show, go to www.gorouge.com. And if you want to send us show topics, info at gorouge.com. Shoot us an email. Um, I don't play hard to get. So if it's a good topic, they're going to be on the show. Contact them. So anyways, stick around. We're going to go to a break, and then we'll be right back. Thank you, awesome. Ron. Thanks, Ron. All right. So we are on a, for Cade, who is on the 107.3, um, we are on a break, ladies. So stick around for a second. And ladies, y'all can stick around, too, for the second segment if you want to. I know some of you have to actually work. But but if you want to stick around, you can. Um, dude, your house looks, that, that setup, that room, I'm, Okay, well, so since we have this time, to, my kitchen table, like our dining room table, and I was like, I have to have Thanksgiving. It was just me, my husband, and my mom, but I still was like, it seems weird to like be giving thanks, but also be like, don't move your elbow. You're going to knock over this $4,000 bottle of bourbon. Like, what are you doing? So we moved them all upstairs so that there'd be like no accidents. So smart. I know. Yeah. I was 
And Emily, I'm loving your Christmas vibe. I know. You're like so cheer, and I'm, I'm like bourbon. I can't. I feel like they actually go together so well. So if you are listening, all the holidays. So if you are listening on Facebook Live, um, again, and shout out to Hanson, Hanson Rogers, uh, Katie. Hanson Rogers has has put the, the logo on, not the logo, the email address to email Katie at hogsforthecause.org and www.hogsforthecause slash bourbon. Um, uh, dot, was it order.com slash org slash bourbon. Um, slash bourbon. Who's Hanson, by the way? Who's Hanson? I know the band Three Brothers, Mormon, had great songs in the 90s. Thoughts about mine. So. <laughs> Don't my age. Let me see the actual, okay, where's the, I'm so bad at this. Also, if y'all just need laughs, like this was Katie when she finally picked up the pappy in place of her husband. That's. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna start our second segment. Katie, let me do a, Katie, let me do a five second countdown and we'll be ready to go. And what we'll do again is, yeah, yes, bourbon raffle, thank you. No, and um, the website, cause you're saying it wrong. We'll do a five second countdown and then we'll do our second segment. And then Emily, so you know, we'll do the two minute intro. All right, counting down, second segment, five, four, three, two, one. Welcome back to the second segment of the Go Rouge radio show. It's on the radio, but it's also on Facebook Live. We're on Zoom today. If you're listening, if you're listening on Talk 107.3, you may not notice it, but if you're watching on Facebook Live, uh, this is your host, Franz Borkart. We are not in studio today. We are in quarantine, making this stuff happen, making this stuff up as we go along. We're in quarantine today. Uh, I was exposed to COVID, and while I have already had COVID, I'm doing my part to be socially responsible. Zero symptoms. Zero symptoms. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, I won't. Hopefully, I won't contract it. I am on Zoom. I'm on the radio with some wonderful folks. I've got Angela and Katie from Hogs for the Cause. This segment, we're going to be doing Emily from New Schools for the Baton Rouge. She's going to be talking to us about some awesome virtual events coming up. And then at the end of that, we're going to talk a little bit about Christmas in Baton Rouge. I want to talk Christmas in Baton Rouge with, with you ladies' permission. Um, so before we jump in, let me thank our show sponsors. These are the folks that make the Go Rouge show possible. We have La Divina Italian Cafe serving select wines, ice cold beer, plus their exclusive sorbet mimosa. Sorbet mimosa. I'm going to say that again. Have y'all had the sorbet mimosa? It is fantastic. We have Louisiana Tech Park. We have the Borkhart Law Firm. We have Sullivan Steakhouse, your neighborhood steak restaurant. We have Breck Parks, the Smith Shanklin Sosa Personal Injury Law Firm, NAI, Ladder and Bloom, commercial real estate, uh, folks and then they are also as i said in the first segment they are spearheading and supporting and sponsoring whatever word you want to use a new podcast concept called the real disruptors it's a real estate podcast that i get to i get to host um you might it's be wondering really well awesome. we've heard it it's really good it's fun you might be wondering what does franz have to do he's a he's like one of the best criminal defense attorneys on the planet what's he doing in a real estate podcast for and that's kind of the angle right um i'm an outsider i have an outsider's perspective so we do different topics like you know one of the episodes that we're about to break is about uh retail is retail dead is it is it coming back is it stronger than ever we've done an episode on uh commercial leasing um hmm. we've done an episode on how to kill deals and then also we've done a fun episode on how to invest uh in real estate so without further ado uh, and that, by the way, is the real disruptors. You can watch us on on YouTube. Without further ado, we've got new schools from Baton Rouge in the house. Emily, Emily, how are you doing? I am well. How are you doing? This has been a great so, conversation, you guys. So I didn't know Emily was a fan of bourbon. And if you listen to the first segment, it was all about raising some good money, some good money for a fantastic cause, pediatric brain cancer, hogs for the cause. But now we're talking about teachers, education, and what's going on. So let's start, Emily, with who are you and what is New Schools for Baton Rouge? Yeah, 
Um, so I am Emily LeBeau. I am the Senior Director of Talent Development for New Schools for Baton Rouge. And all that means, you guys, is that I have the amazing privilege to think about how to not only recruit, but keep and develop great teachers and leaders in the schools in Baton Rouge. And so I come from a background of um, education where I was a teacher, an administrator, and a principal and coach for 16 years. And so I just absolutely love South Louisiana. And I know that we all know that teachers make the difference and so do good leaders. New Schools for Baton Rouge knows that as well. And so in 2012, they were founded by community leaders to make sure that every child in the city of Baton Rouge, regardless of where they live, regardless of family income, had access to a high quality education. And so what we're talking about today in, um, is something that the superintendent Kate Brumley brought up and that was in order to make sure that we have equity in education, every child has to have access to a really great teacher. And so in order to have a really great teacher, we need to harness the talents of the Baton Rouge community. And so people who are like, I never thought I would be a teacher. I went into engineering or I went into law, for example, ladies, gentlemen. Um, if you're like, I need something different to do. I wanna give back to the community. Um, I need a spark or something. This is your chance. So on December 10th, we're having a virtual recruitment fair in which you can go check out the different opportunities across the region. And so we have 22 different schools, including EBR Public Schools, Innovation Network, charter schools like Basis and Idea, um, and private schools like Cristo Rey, et cetera, where you could see, hey, this might be an opportunity where I can share my passions with the community and really start to give back in a way that I didn't know would be so fulfilling. So what is equity? I've got to ask. I know. So everybody always asks me when I'm hosting the radio, like, why are you asking questions that you probably already know the answer to? It's because other people might not know the answers to it. So when you say equity in education, and this is also a lawyer thing, right? What do you mean by equity in education? That means, friends, that so, for example, the, the kids that I taught um, would be in the same classroom that I would put my kids in. So okay. I taught in some um, low income community schools and I'd have to ask myself, is the school that I'm at right now some place where I would put my children? And if the answer is no, it's not equitable. We'd have to ask why. Ah, okay. So right? talk to me a little bit about this virtual fair. Yes. If I wanted to get more information about it. And, and, and what really, what is that going to look like? What does a virtual yeah. fair look like? So... It was a product of adapting to our current situation. Ladies, you talked about hogs for the cause and you have to adapt to the current situation, whether you can meet in person or not, the work still got to get done. And so whether or not we can have in-person fairs, which is an older method, let's adapt with technology in a virtual fair does two things. One, it provides ease of access. So candidates can go into this platform or this waiting room online and they can look at all the different booths for schools and districts and say like, oh, I wanna kind of check them out. They can click on that option and then they can have a conversation with that individual. And this does, this provides privacy and a little bit more safety for people who are like, I love where I've taught, but I think it's time to get a new start somewhere else. I want to check out and see what options are available to me. Um, and, and the website is, is teach225.com. So teach225.com. So love alliteration, right? So teach225. That's easy. That's that's an easy one to remember. Teach225. That's like remembering hogs for the cause backslash verb. Hog, hogs for the cause dot org backslash dot verb. org backslash verb. These are See, you guys have figured out marketing. It's like, keep it simple. Don't make it complicated. So how, okay, if I'm a teacher, what can I hope to gain from participating in this? And if I'm just not a teacher and I want to be involved, is there opportunity for me? Yeah, that's a great question. So if I'm someone who's like, meh, I don't know what I want to do. I'm getting ready to head into Christmas break. Let me see what's happening in the Baton Rouge community because I know I love living here and my family's here and I know I love the community. I can go to this event on December 10th and I'm gonna see two things. I'm gonna see opportunities where I can be a teacher or a leader. And then I'm also gonna see opportunities that help explain how do I become a teacher and what is the pathway that I take in order to become a teacher. So let's say Angela, you're like, you know what? Secretly, Emily, I've always wanted to teach high school math. 
good on you, girl. I got an opportunity for you. You're going to go to this event. You're going to find some of the high schools. You're going to interview with them and see if they feel like the right fit. Because I describe teaching as like dating, right? You got to find the right partner Ooh. and the right fit. Ooh. Like so this is kind of is like, it like swiping left, there. swiping right. Is that swiping left, swiping right? I hear that. Or you that's move right. on. Yep. And so like, and that's okay. Education degree to even per participate. Cause there could be a need for me, even if I took no education classes. Yes, because we're in 2020, ladies and gentlemen, and your skill sets are so amazing that Angela or Katie girl, come on with us. You could go to this event and you could say, oh, I really love mentorship high school. I want to teach there. Okay, well, I have a legal degree. I don't know what it means to be a teacher. In the same opportunity and in that same area, you could go visit different certification partners and they're going to explain, hey, Angela, given that your background is this, we're going to recommend that you become certified in an alternative pathway. That means you can expect a year-long residency at LRCE while you're teaching etc. So this is we're trying to make it as easy as possible. While teaching, you can immediately start helping and start teaching and get certified right. at the same time. So you're yes. not, so the school systems are getting what they need when they need it. And then you're, you're getting educated at the same time and how to better perform as a teacher. Yes. And I think I love this. Is, that's such a great question. And I think in this time in particular, right, where people in our service industry are hurting and they're trying to figure out how to make ends meet potentially and have, they have amazing skill sets. If you're in the service industry, you're good with people probably. Oh, 100%. Right? And so you can build relationships. You can be a teacher then share those gifts with the local schools while we're waiting for the local economy to resolve itself. Right. This is a great opportunity. So that time opportunities say that again, there are potentially part-time opportunities for people who yeah. maybe can't go full time, but do you have extra time that they want to help? That's a great question. Yeah. So when you're meeting with people, ask them that and say like, look, I want to do this. I can't commit full time, but could I teach one or two classes? Yes. I would scoop you up. And yes. I bet you're really looking for substitute teachers, especially since like, look at Franz, he was exposed mm -hmm. to a potential person who had it. And you know, all these people now have to like stay at home for so many days. And then there's a need for, there's an increased need for potential part-time subs or um, temporary subs and all that as well. Yes, so, ladies, little I known. Like Franz, you put them there on purpose and I'm so grateful you guys are here. I just, I can't believe I just met you. This is what happens with three attorneys. We just are like, question, question. What about so, this? So little known, not to, not to bring it back to me, um, but little <laughs> known fact about me, ladies, I actually have taught uh, before. I was a, I taught as an adjunct at the LSU Law Center. Uh, criminal litigation, and I also taught at a community college business law. Um, I have lectured at my former high school before, but I have not taught a semester there. Um, so originally, I wanted to be a teacher. I was going to be an English teacher uh, before going to law school. So yeah. So well, okay. High school because uh, Loyola, New Orleans, where we went to law school, has a street law program where third year, well, any second or third year. What is yeah. what is street law? What does that mean? Yeah, I'm curious about that too. Oh, we went into some of the um, like lower school systems that needed teachers to come in and we taught one day a week and we would teach like uh, Laura, one of my friends in law school, we went in and we did street law. We did um, their government class. And so we taught first amendment uh, law once a week for the entire semester. And so we came in for an hour, like one of their periods. And um, that's, I mean, Loyola, I have no idea if Tulane or LSU does it as well. I'm, they probably have something like that, but it, I mean, we, I, I would not say that I am a great teacher, but I, I survived and so did the kids and we got a couple to apply to colleges. So we thought it was a win. But, and so I want to talk, I wanna, you just said something that I want to bring back to Franz, if you would. So, and I think that this is so prevalent too. And what happens when we, when you asked earlier, Franz, what does equity mean? Right. And then Katie, you mentioned speaking or sorry, Angela, teaching at a, one of the lower schools. Right. So in our minds, we create almost a caste system of schools of high, medium and low. Right. It has nothing to do with the teachers in the building. It has nothing to do with the students in the building. It's all perception. And so sometimes that also impacts how students feel about themselves and the outcomes they get, as well as the quality of teachers and staff that might be attracted to that school. And so what we wanna do is say like, listen, all of our students are amazing and they all should have access to these high quality schools, right? And, and so that when people visit from the community, they're like, this school is amazing because our community is amazing, right? And, and I, 
are all great. I mean, they just need the opportunity to have somebody that is willing to be there and kind of like help them in the next thing. And sometimes, I mean, the teachers in a lot of these schools are overwhelmed um, and they need, they need help or they need other people to come in and kind of be like, hey, think about this and do this. And I mean, it's a, a great program. And I think what y'all are doing is really going to help kind of put an influx of more people into the school system, which would be great. And bridge the gap between necessity, especially in this very, you know, uncertain time. So yes. again, that website is teach225.com. Mm -hmm. We are talking to Emily from New Schools for Baton Rouge. Um, while I have you on here, I, I feel compelled since I was in the inaugural class of change makers. Are you guys still doing change makers in a COVID-19 <laughs> world? So, so what is change makers? Dealing with that. So if you're trying to figure out what is educational opportunity and educational equity mean within the Baton Rouge community, Change Makers is a yearly program that Adonica Duggan, who's just phenomenal on our team, leads this group of individuals along with Chrissy and Laura, and they see what does access and opportunity in the Baton Rouge community look like. And it actually just explores, in fact, what it means to be a resident in Baton Rouge and what does that mean for the outcome that you might have access to it, based off of your demographics of being black, white, high income, low income, et cetera. And it's really a great opportunity to think about how are you charged as a citizen of Baton Rouge to be a steward of your community? And what does that mean given your strengths? So I'm looking at, I'm looking at Angela and Katie when I ask that question, just throwing that out there. And if Adonica is watching, I'm looking at Angela and Katie. Great program. I enjoyed it. Uh, I got to do it in a non-COVID world. Um, we got a lot of different aspects of education. Uh, and we also got to tour some schools in San Antonio to see what different school models look like in other places. It was a phenomenal program. Now, look, we've got five minutes left, ladies. Four, four or five minutes. We need to talk Christmas. I'm going to change gears a little bit. Before um, you change gears, can I say one thing, Franz? Yes, Emma. Yes. I would be remiss if I didn't. So I want to say, like, for anyone who's trying to figure it out, you can come to the December fair, kind of wet your water, feel, like fill it out, wet your feet. And then if you're still trying to figure out, we're going to have two more fairs in March and May. So you don't have to commit. It's not a one-time shot. Like, come check it out if you're not certain just see what it's about. And then you can come back in March and May. And then by then we'll have all the Christmas decor up. But right now let's talk about the Christmas, Franz. All right, all right. So, so this is all about me. I have a lot of women in my life. And like, I mean that in a platonic way. I have a lot of women in my life and I've got some special people that I want to get gifts for. And since I have three experts on this panel of conversation, I want to talk about gifts, uh, gifts, for women or men, yes, yes, Angela, I, I do know that there is a bourbon raffle, so that is an excellent gift for men and women, uh, but good good gift ideas. I want to talk good gift ideas for Christmas and good gift ideas in Baton Rouge. All right. Um, Any ideas? I would say, like, this year, a lot of women in my life are requesting slippers and, like, new um, pajamas, just, like, yes. comfortable pajamas, really comfortable slippers. It's kind of like a trend that's going on right now. Um, you can get that from all kinds of local places. The Royal Standard has like really cute, um, Wanderlust has some great kind of casual clothes too. I mean, obviously, obviously they have some other fancy stuff, which is beautiful, but they've got some casual wear mm -hmm. too. That's great. Just, uh, I, Katie's right. Like, I mean, I've been, I've still obviously I'm going to work because you have to, can't, can't close remotely. Um, but I mean, when I'm at home, the first thing I want to wear is just kind of like elevated comfort clothes. So mm -hmm. stuff like that would be. I would say great. What are your thoughts? I think one of the things that's really great about this opportunity is that you can buy gift cards from local communities. And so thinking about like, are there any particular communities within your, your like where you live, um, black owned communities that you wanna support, some creative ideas like Franz, Odom's Kitchen does private catering. And so you could do a date night or you could do some type of dinner for a, for a friend or for whomever. Um, and I think like mimosa jewelry, guys. Laura, sh jewelry. shout out. Laura Sue is watching. Laura La Sue. Laura, Laura Sue is watching, and she says mimosa handcrafted handcrafted jewelry. Um, Joelle Joelle says theater theater Baton Rouge season yes. tickets um, or theater season tickets. Um, I would say theater Baton Rouge. Um, 
So, okay. AT&T Handmade does these beautiful um, custom jackets. Hillary on our team does them. They're denim jackets that are painted with like LSU or, I mean, she's Saints. done bride stuff, Saint stuff, and they're beautiful and they're bride custom stuff. done for anything. Do you, think, do you think I could get the Go Rouge logo? Oh, it's on this side. You think I could get that on a denim jacket? Yes. And I, I want to I wanna bring denim back. And then I, I don't know that de- it to everyone. Yeah, like that everyone in your, your family yeah. should like get a denim, a painted custom jacket. denim jacket. It's local. You're oh, sorry. that's that's right. We were talking about gifts, not just swag for myself. Yeah. Pocket of the denim jackets with your shameless logo on it can be some gift cards yes. to some local businesses. So while you might not want to go eat out right now since COVID's spiking. It's like cool. The business will be around in March. The business will be around in June because we're supporting them now. Yes. So I, I am all about I am all about buying gift cards from local restaurants, gift cards from local businesses. Um, that is a quick revenue generating uh, stream from them. Um, I think that's a good way of supporting local businesses. Um, ladies, we've got two minutes left. Two minutes left. In our remaining two minutes, I want to ask. I want to ask one last time from both sides, if I want to get more information on the virtual teaching fair, Emily, where am I going to go? You're going to go to teach225.com. Again, teach, T-E-A-C-H, 225.com. And if I want to get information on this wonderful bourbon raffle, ladies, where am I going to go? You're going to go to hogsforthecause.org backslash bourbon. Awesome. And I awesome. can get six tickets for $100, lady. Tickets for $100. $100. Merry Christmas, LeBeau family. Right. And with so that many is an awesome. The odds are really great. Yeah, because everyone's like, oh, but the odds are. And it's like, we're constantly adding. I've got eight bottles that I'm adding on Thursday. And then we've got some headliners that I'm not allowed to discuss yet that will be um, added on next Tuesday. And um, those are better than the George so T. We- Stab. So we've got one minute. Le- one minute the ladies- back, but yes. So, yeah. So ladies, we got one minute. The last thing I want to touch on before we go is shout out to Emily for being a member of yeah. Junior League Baton Rouge. Uh, ladies, if you haven't joined Junior League of Baton Rouge, it is the Baton Rouge Illuminati. They run the show here. You definitely need to join. Uh, that is about it for our episode of Go Rouge Show. You've been listening to Franz Borkart along with Emily. Katie and Angela, thank you ladies for joining us. For more information. Hi, Emily, nice to meet you. So nice to meet you, Emily. And guys. Definitely going to be putting a chat on that website on, what is it, December 10th? December 10th, 4 to 7 p.m. So it's at the end of the day. Perfect. So before we, we roll, if you want more information about the Go Rouge show or page, go to www.gorouge.com. And that is about it. We'll see you for one more episode like this. I've got seven more days of quarantine, folks. Thank you for tuning in. Special shout out to 107.3 Cade for helping us out, and we will see you next time. Awesome. Bye, guys. All right. I'm going to close this off, guys. Thank you guys for being a part of the episode. Um, Last thing I'm going to ask is if you haven't gone to Go Rouge, go to the Go Rouge Facebook page. Go to community. Invite your tribe to like the page, invite your tribe to share. Um, And that's it, guys. I'll see y'all next time.